Hey guys, LP here, and uh, I want to drop you a quick note, let you know um, we're going to be doing more and more of these. We're going to be doing more of these current event type videos. They're actually specifically designed for the members, but I wanted to throw a freebie out there so people can actually see some of the stuff that they're going to be getting. You know, we don't get enough current events in our life anyway. If you remember back when we were kids, that's exactly how we found out what was going on was through current events. Obviously, I want to make sure, sure make sure, I'm trying to catch the sun down just a little bit. A little bit of beauty in the background just because it's the weekend and you guys deserve it okay so the uh, the first thing that uh, headline that I had something to talk about was uh, the uh, the headline was Trump pollster predicts post convention poll bump and extended honeymoon for Harris now, the truth is guys uh, you know they, they filled an entire it wasn't a stadium it was like an arena full of these people and lots of blue colors and and things like that but not a single person voted for her she was the very first one to drop out of the very first time she ever ran for president. And, um, yeah, um, they kind of just ousted the sitting president. So I don't know how long this will last. I, I think this is a bolster and that this, this won't actually take place. Um, if we just use a little bit of common sense, and then if we think about the whole Trump-Kennedy issue that happened yesterday, I think that I think I think they're a little scared. I think they're a little scared, and obviously politics influence our lives uh, in the preparedness field. And we should remember that whilst these people are out pretending they're gods and fighting, we should be just watching them like thunderclouds in the or thunderclaps in the distance, uh, because how they affect our lives is normally through. Uh, inflation, the economy, things of that nature. And obviously if we let a dum dumb in the office then we could find ourselves in World War III. Uh, let's see here. The Telegram CEO Paul Duroff detained at airport in France. He was actually arrested. Uh, and he was arrested because you know the you know the French are socialists and they they have their own little socialist uh, laws and um, the end state was that uh, he they say that he didn't he didn't control Telegram enough, and that, uh, well, now that he's under arrest. Uh, what the exact charges are, obviously, are going to be according to French law, but we all know that it's just a socialist gain. And it's unfortunate because that means that now it's not safe to travel to Europe. You know, the UK police have already said that they were gonna, they're going to arrest Americans that say bad things, they don't control their speech, so on and so forth, you know. so. We need to uh, we need to be aware of that. So be careful if you're traveling overseas. Uh, let's see here, SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule to return Boeing Starliner crew to Earth. If you remember about a week ago, I said you know what they don't want to do. Well, that's right, you aren't members, so you don't know. If you remember, you know. And I was asked about this, and uh, what they don't want to do is show a complete failure of Boeing. Uh, the Na Boeing is a NASA sponsored program. Uh, along with United Launch Alliance, and they just, <laughs> well, they screwed up. They, the ship's no good. Uh, they've got to do something to fix it, and now two astronauts are stranded up there, and they're like, oh, February. Yeah, don't worry about it, guys, you know? Um, and <laughs> it's no bueno. So, you know, my suggestion was, hey, listen, why don't we just take a, a crew dragon, which can carry four people, send two or four up there, swap them out, bring the other two back, or just just send two up and bring the other two back, you know, all together with four. Uh, whatever they come up with, it looks that that's exactly what's going to happen. So I don't know the actual configuration, but once again, I was right. And it's always good when you're right. And a big barge pulling out right now. You guys are probably gonna be able to see it coming into view here in a second. It's kind of interesting. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you'll be able to see it come into view. It's actually pushing. Oh, you can see it. There's the barge right there. And then you'll be able to see the tug. All right, so uh, so I'm just gonna say it, Fauci. Uh, he's, uh, he's, he's recovering after being hospitalized for contracting West Nile virus. Everybody is like, yay! No, 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 it's not, it's not cool, it's not cool. It, I think it's just a touch of irony, maybe a little bit of uh, karma. Uh, and yes, there's kids running around here, but that's okay. That's what this place is for too. Uh, but uh, it's uh, it, it's kind of <laughs> I don't know, man. You know, the great circle of life has came back and got Mr. Fauci. So hopefully he gets better quickly. 
Uh, and then uh, lastly, because we've been going on here for about five minutes, but lastly, um, uh, according to the headlines, free, uh, I, I don't even want to say the word, that thing that we cannot speak of, the, the free tests, treatments and treatments will return to help the country cope over fall and winter, U.S. officials announced. So they're literally announcing that things are going to get worse. Things are going to get worse over the fall and winter. And, oh, will it be associated with the election? I don't know. I think I think that they're just prejudging the situation and that, um, well, you know, I, I think you can put the dots together. Okay, guys, also, if you are not a member and you're watching this, this is the kind of stuff that we talk about in the user channel, or I'm sorry, in the, in the members uh, uh, side of YouTube. You can join that by... Uh, clicking the link below or you can find the join button or you can in your description area you'll see the word more go find that and then scroll down and then it'll say like subscribe or follow or something crap but it'll eventually lead you to the different places where you can join I recommend the middle one that way you can get in the discord and be part of the actual uh, community as we speak every day to each other and it's actually a pretty active community so uh, let's see I think that's gonna be about it hopefully you guys have a great weekend I'm going to go find something else to do that's not prepper related so I don't go crazy. And uh, as usual, stay safe. Have a great day, and I'll see you when I see it. I hope that you do join the membership. Stay cool, guys. Bye-bye.